they'll go to houses. There might be a, a window unit inside a house. They'll take that out. They'll they'll break it apart. They'll take out the aluminum copper radiators or the copper tubing inside, and they'll try to you know chop it up and they'll bring it and sell it at one, at one of the yards. Acme Iron and Metal is a scrap buyer, taking metal from the public to recycle or sell. Seth says he's been in the scrap metal biz for years and knows copper is a must-have for thieves. Most of the time it's stolen from uh, AC units. Uh, that's the biggest step we'd see from that. It's not something they can stop completely, but they do everything in their power to try. We won't buy it unless it has the HVAC license or they have a valid driver's license. You know, everything has to match up and we have to take photos of it, you know, for this type of thing because this is a common occurrence. You want to make sure you have everything you can to recoup the property. The first step of the process is weighing and grading the product. While that's going on, there's a video camera filming the customer to match the product with the person. We do work with uh, San Angelo PD. They w w we call them and you know times and they say, hey, is there anything we should be looking for that comes in? Or they'll come by and say, hey, be on the lookout. We've had a lot of uh, AC units or copper plumbing stolen in the area, so we'll be on the lookout. And if we get something like that that might be something what they're looking for, we'll give them a call. Scown said depending on the time of year or the economy, there might be an increase of theft. Like after periods of mass layoffs uh, where other, other job professions become slower, people are looking for that extra money, and that's, that's when you see the big problem come up. Kendra McNamara, Fox News First.